Hi, Bill. Welcome to the Magazine booth here at Tinder Solar. Yeah, thanks for having me. Bill, TCL Zongwan is set to acquire a majority stake in uh, Maxion. What does it mean for the company? Yeah, it's a very good thing for Maxion. Um, it provides us with very solid financial backing um, and credit support, which is very important to many of our utility scale customers who bankability is really the key concern, but also for many of our residential customers who want to know that the company is going to be around for many years to honor our 40 year warranties. Now, of course, Maxion is a history going back 39 years. So we all already are one of the few that have been around as long as our warranties are, but this is just more financial backing that will provide a, uh, additional support support for us. Well, every manufacturer in, in this situation must deal with overcapacity. How is Maxion doing with that? Yeah, it's a really tough market out there right now, as you know. You know, we're hearing panel prices below 10 cents a watt in certain applications around the world. Um, there's just massive oversupply. Uh, nobody's making money right now. It's a war of attrition. Um, so we fortunately, you know, have very strong relationships in residential with all of our dealer partners. We interact directly with them. Um, they are very loyal to us. We have a strong brand. We have a strong reputation of support and, and tools that we provide for them. So that allows us to command a, a modest price premium um, that keeps us uh, a, a little bit ahead of the competition from a pricing standpoint. Um, but yeah, it's tough for everyone out there and uh, really only the strong will survive. Yeah. And in this, um, let's say, environment, can the modest price premium also be a big issue? Uh, not so much. I, we've, we've consistently maintained our premium. Um, unfortunately, we have to follow the market pricing down, but we still maintain sort of our premium uh, above the, the baseline market conditions, both, for, like I said, from our, our, our service, support, our reputation, but also from the quality of our products and uh, people being uh, confident they're some of the best solar panels out there. Is the company maintaining its commitment to build manufacturing facilities in the U.S.? Um, yes, we're still very committed to our Albuquerque facility. Um, we've been working on engineering and site preparation. We've passed environmental surveys that are required. Um, we hope to get going in the second half of this year with actual groundbreaking and construction. Um, it's, a, it's a big part of our future. The United States market is one of the strongest markets in the world, probably the strongest market in the world. Um, it's also a big part of uh, why TCL was so interested in Maxion. Um, establishing a presence in the U.S. Is, is very important to them, and having uh, exposure to that market is key. But yes, uh, very important to our utility scale customers. Um, the United States domestic content is increasingly becoming a, a major issue, um, and there's uh, very strong uh, programmatic support to uh, you know, support U.S. manufacturing. So as a company that has a very deep and long United States heritage, we're super proud to be bringing, you know, solar manufacturing back to the United States. Your company is also operating a factory in Mexico, which is serving the U.S. market. Is that factory still operating? Yes, that factory is still operating, uh, and we can intend to continue to have it operating. And globally, how much capacity do you aim to reach by the end of uh, this year or next year? Uh, yeah, globally, we have about 2.5 gigawatts of capacity, uh, or we will have that by the end of this year. Um, we also have additional offtake agreements from our partners in China that supply us with our shingled product for the European market. There are also other big uh, Chinese companies which entered the back contact uh, business recently. Do you see this as an encouraging sign or also as a threat? Well, yeah, it's both for sure. Um, uh, again, one of the key reasons TCL is committed to our company is because they believe very strongly that uh, back contact technology is the next generation photovoltaic technology beyond Topcon. And I think we're seeing evidence with that with certain competitors emerging. Now, what Maxion has is a very strong history of intellectual property and a very strong portfolio of patents. Um, we intend to enforce those to the full power of the law. And in fact, we're taking new action just today against ICO for infringement on our patent technology. So we intend to vigorously defor uh, defend our position and uh, are very confident in our position with the strength of over 20 years of intellectual property history. Maybe you can also provide some details on the company's technology roadmap. What kind of efficiencies are you targeting? What kind of technology or improvements are expected in the next two or three years? 
Yeah, well, just this year, we've released two new technologies, our uh, seventh generation performance line, that's our shingled panel technology. That's now using Topcon cells and is approaching or exceeding 23% panel efficiency. We've also recently released our seventh generation uh, interdigitated back contact technology. Um, we've set world record efficiencies as measured by NREL of over 25% with that panel. So th both of those panels are now ramping into production in the second half of this year. Uh, beyond that, we're already working on our Maxion 8 technology, which will be even higher efficiency, um, but also at a, a structurally much lower cost structure. And which markets is mainly targeting Maxion this year, next year? I mean, on top of the US, which is also a very important market for you, maybe Europe, other markets that will be more important for you than others? Well, right now, the Maxion product is targeted exclusively for the distributed generation market. And the two markets we're most interested in and most successful in are both Europe and the USA. So that will be our plan for the, the next few years. Considering all we said about overcapacity, low prices, is the future of the IBC technology still bright, in your opinion? Yes, definitely. Uh, we've been believers in back contact technology since day one at SunPower and now Maxion in the United States. Um, our founder, uh, Dr. Richard Swanson, uh, long ago predicted that the ultimate incarnation of photovoltaic solar cell would be back contact technology. And many people have the misperception that it has to be a more complex technology. But if you think about it, for example, putting metal only on one side of the cell is simpler than putting metal on two sides of the cell. So ultimately, we believe this will be the highest efficiency, lowest cost technology in photovoltaics. And so we're, we're really thrilled that we're ahead of the game on that learning curve. So, I mean, Maxim will still be able to compete also in this difficult environment, in your opinion? Yeah, absolutely. Particularly, I think, with our new partnership with our, our Chinese investors who will bring you know, more manufacturing expertise, access to the very low-cost China ecosystem. So it's a great synergy between us and our technology and them with their manufacturing know-how that will allow us to achieve both the highest technology and hopefully the lowest cost structure. Thank you much for being here, Bill. Thank you.